Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Before you replace the muffler on your snowblower, first make sure the engine and muffler have cooled. Next, remove the wire and boot from the spark plug to prevent the engine from accidentally starting. To access all of the muffler cover mounting bolts, you will first need to move the chute gearbox support bracket out of the way. To do this, remove the retaining clips securing the chute control rod and pull the rod free. Now remove the retaining clips securing the support bracket pin and pull out the pin. Unthread the wing nut from the center gearbox mounting bolt. Lift the gearbox off of the support bracket and set the gearbox and chute assembly aside. Next, use a 3 8 inch socket to remove the bolts securing the belt cover. Pull the cover off. Now release the drive belt idler pulley tension spring. Use a half inch socket to remove the upper two mounting bolts securing the gearbox support bracket. Use a three quarter inch socket to remove the lower bolt. You can now remove the support bracket. Use a 10 mm socket or wrench to remove all of the mounting bolts securing the muffler cover. Lift off the cover. Use the half inch socket to help unthread the mounting nuts securing the muffler itself. Remove the old muffler. Before you install the new muffler, we recommend you replace the muffler gasket. Now align the new muffler on the cylinder head and rethread the mounting nuts to secure. Realign the muffler cover. Thread and tighten the bolts to secure. Now reposition the chute gearbox support bracket and replace the bolts. Reset the tension spring on the lower bolt. Replace the belt cover. Rethread the bolts and tighten. Reposition the chute assembly on the chute adapter as you realign the gearbox on the support bracket. Confirm that the center mounting bolt is in place in the gearbox housing. Then thread the wing nut on and tighten. Reinsert the support bracket pin and secure it with the retaining clip. Confirm that the holes in the gearbox coupler are facing straight up with the chute facing forward. 
and that the shoot control lever is at the 1 o'clock position. Now insert the rounded end of the shoot control rod into the gearbox coupler and the hex end into the control coupler. Secure the rod with the retaining clip. Confirm that the chute has a full range of movement. Then reattach the spark plug wire and boot, and your snowblower should be ready for use.